So I watched episode 3 of Lords of the Rings, The Rings of Power, and it was slightly better than the first two episodes at least. But there are also some parts that are really boring and useless, or just huge plot holes. But let's first break down the episode pretty quickly. So the episode starts with the introduction of Numenor. And man, that part at the port made me have like goosebumps. But unfortunately, after that we have the discussion between Queen Miriel and Galadriel. That is not really good, especially Galadriel that acts like a teenager even if she has like thousands of years. Because she is too much insufferable as self entitled for someone who was saved literally 5 minutes ago by two people that she is treating almost like insects. But fortunately for her, Albran is able to de-escalate the situation. And after that the showrunner tries to hint to the fact that Albran could be Sauron because he looks like to have a bit of like a dark side and he seems to have a little bit too much interest in working to a forge. But anyway, after that is probably the most boring and useless scene till now with Galadriel riding on a horse with her usual crazy expression and man I still don't know why she makes always that kind of crazy eye. I honestly don't know. I only know that those two minutes of riding on a horse were pretty useless. But in the meantime they also introduced the Elendil, it's basically part of a pro-elf faction in Numenor. But anyway, it was also with a direct reference to Elros, the first king of Numenor, that was the brother of Elrond, that they were both half elf but Elros chose to be mortal while Elrond decided to be immortal and I also really appreciate that they introduced the fact regarding the multiple means of names and the fact of having multiple names because that is a really a thing that Tolkien liked to do with his characters so I really appreciate the discussion between Queen Miriel and Elendil and I also liked how Isildur and his sister were introduced and how they behave in general but I also really liked the way Isildur speaks with his father and how he behaves around his father. But unfortunately, the scene in which Galadriel and Elendil discover the meaning of that symbol that represents the map of Mordor is really a plot hole, because that proof that the Shoran expect the viewers to believe that Sauron is basically voluntarily leaving behind traces of his existence to his enemies. Like I really don't know, like basically what the killer of the Zodiac did with his crimes? I. That's a plot hole. I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? How can Sauron be so much of an idiot that he decides to voluntarily leave behind traces of his existence to his enemies, instead of remaining hidden into the shadows? I mean, that is really a big plot hole regarding Sauron that should be basically the ultimate deceiver and the ultimate mastermind. But anyway, after that we jump to what is basically the most boring parts of the episode with the Harfoot storyline. That yes, I understand that they need to do a little bit of like world building etc etc. But in three episodes they did basically nothing except from meeting the Meteor Man. That for fuck's sake the Meteor Man has the same fucking storyline of Eti, the extraterrestrial. Yeah, you hear me right. The Meteor Man has the same storyline of Eti, or whatever his fucking name is pronounced in English, I still don't know that. But man, think about the similarities between the extraterrestrial and Meteor Man and you will figure it out yourself that it's the fucking same storyline, at least for now. But anyway, after that we have the storyline of the elf Erondir. That honestly is the most exciting part of the episode because at least we got some action, even if there is unfortunately a little bit of bad CGI. In the meanwhile we are also introduced to a new character of Adar that probably has the same or a similar gauntlet and maze of Sauron. So basically the showrunner wants the viewers to play to discover who Sauron really is into the series among Adar the Meteor Man and Albrand, but for me at least it's probably neither of them, but I will explain why I think that in other 3 shorts video regarding those 3 characters of Albrand, Meteor Man and Adar. And at least for me, my theory is basically none of them is Sauron, probably Albrand is the Witch King of Angmar or at least an art school, but I will explain that why into Albrand's video. Stay tuned with my channel for that video. But anyway, if I really must review this episode, I will give it an honest 7.5 out of 10 because it's a really good episode, but at least for me, 
it's too slow and unfortunately i think that also future episode will be like this because they want basically to give space to four storyline at the same time but as always if you enjoyed this video i really appreciate if you leave me a follow and a like and i will also deeply appreciate if you consider sharing this video and my channel with your friends or on the internet in general because that can really help my channel to grow and allows me to make more of this type of videos slash content but as always i'll see you next time ciao